I think it's, it's, you're gonna feel better that way. Try it, try it. Okay, okay, which is a little faster than what you play, mm -hmm. but I think it has to be a little faster than what you played. Okay. It's gonna be easier to sort of feel the movement. Okay, sure. we can take it a little slower right now, but um, remember that a little, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, sorry, I'm stopping mm -hmm. you. Um, this is one of these crazy monothematic sonatas in which this whole sonata is based on this movement, mm -hmm. right? Why does he have a tenuto here? Because it's the, it's the beginning of G, F, E, right? So in a way, this opening A flat is it's almost like an appoggiatura that goes into it. So you have to take a little time. And in fact, this left hand is the inversion, right? And in fact, this A flat is sort of this A flat. And then once more again. And then this, it goes to the dominant. We have to hear a little bit of this left hand. You're a little, a little focused on the right hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I think you'll get that movement as well if you hear the bass line. Let's try it from sure. the opening. What you're doing naturally is you're going to this G. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. And you'll get this wonderful sort of, when you go up, it takes time to go back down. Okay, and it, sure. it feels like a little flexibility of time too. Mm -hmm. Okay, try it. Just the left end? No, both ends. Mm -hmm. Good, good. You, you're doing it. Now, so my point is, I guess, another way of saying it is this is sort of the loudest part. The, your tie is the loudest okay. part because it goes one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, feel that tie. Mm -hmm. Feel that tie. Mm -hmm. 